Hey. In Isleworth, London, a little dog called Luna urgently needs Scott's help. She's three, so we've had her since she was a puppy. But she's just absolutely crazy. She has such a high prey drive that she just runs after squirrels. Owners Ben and Alice rushed Luna into Scott after she suffered a shocking injury at the park. Luna was on a walk and we heard a lot of yelping while she was chasing the squirrels. She has completely ripped her leg open. It's a pretty nasty wound, so we've just put a dressing on it. Yeah. I'm just taking it off now to show you. Okay. Was she missing for a long period of time? or? No, just out of sight for a couple of minutes. Nurses Nina and Sam have already oh. seen the wound. Prepare yourself. Really? Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Looking at this beautiful cocker spaniel, I'm horrified. Luna, what's happened? Oh, I tell you what, I'm glad you're wearing that because you don't want to see what's happening back here. I literally have never seen anything like this before. It looks like she's been bitten by a shark. Oh, honey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It wasn't me, it wasn't me. That is, that is grim, isn't it? That is out of a horror film. Although Luna's been given a pain relieving patch, removing the temporary dressing is excruciating. What a brave little dog Luna is. She's holding it together well, but it does look like she's been skinned alive. And of course she'd be in a huge amount of pain and in shock, but she's being a very brave little dog. And so brave. Oh, you're still wagging your tail. Oh, you're a good girl. That is, that is grim, isn't it? That is out of a horror film. Oh, honey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it wasn't me. Have you ever seen anything like that in your career? No, it's massive. Yeah. All right, well, we've certainly got our work cut out fixing that then, Good ladies. Good. I think let's give her an anaesthetic and let's put her out of her discomfort for the short term and let's try and fix that unbelievable wound. It can't be underestimated just how serious Luna's injuries are and how life-threatening they could be. Oh my God. Look at that. I tell you what, she is so lucky. You can see just there's the femoral artery. And you can see it pumping, look. If she had caught that, then she wouldn't be here now. There's no doubt. Luckily, we do have quite a bit of skin to play with here. So I think that we should be able to sort this out. All right, well, should we start just giving her a bit of a clip and a clean and let's, um, let's get her into surgery, shall we? It really is incredibly upsetting to see a dog in so much pain and discomfort and all from just a casual walk in the park. We've got to remember as well, she has some really distressed owners too. You were saying it was more just the, the screaming from her because she was in so much pain. And you yeah. just said every time you shut your eyes is all you could think about, wasn't it? It was quite traumatic, you know, for something that you love that much to be in that much pain. I mean, it is massive. Yeah. You know, if you think of the actual size of the dog, I mean, that hole's about the size of her head. Mm. My job now is to understand, is there any skin missing? If there is skin missing, then I'll need to find skin from somewhere else. And the way that I'll do that is by doing a flap, uh, which we extend over the wound itself. So it's a big job. Looking at this horrifying wound, I really can't say if Luna will pull through because it's massive. And I don't know what kind of injuries might have occurred underneath. So all I can do is try and close this horrendous wound and hope that this little girl makes a full recovery. Yeah, there is a moment when you're doing a surgery like this where you do go, I tell you what, she is so lucky. You can see just there's the femoral artery. You can see it pumping, look. If she had caught that, then she wouldn't be here now. What I'm doing is tacking. So I'm basically putting tension underneath uh, the superficial layer, the epidermis, uh, to try and encourage it all to come back together. So it's just a little time consuming. But actually, one good thing about it is that all this tissue is nice and healthy. So it looks 
very red and very angry, it's bleeding, but that's good because it means it's got good blood supply and it's almost certain to heal very well. And that's that. Amazing. It's oh. a lot of stitching. One million stitches, yeah. So I've just finished the procedure on Luna and it's uh, very rewarding. So we now have a dog that has skin covering her from top to bottom, <laughs> which is the way nature intended. And uh, she's gonna wake up and recover and grow back fur and you'll never know that this horrific injury ever happened. Two hours later, Luna's ready to be reunited with her incredibly relieved owners. Here's your baby. So I'm going to gently pop I know, that's mum and dad, isn't it? There we go. Oh, that's a nice way to tail. It's so incredibly rewarding to be able to reunite Luna with her loving owners. But certainly this is not a day that they'll want to remember. You love you daddy, don't you? You've done an amazing job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just can't believe she's wagging her tail. <laughs> She's so, so sweet. It never ceases to amaze me how resilient and brave animals are. And look at Luna, the tail's wagging and she can't wait to get home. Take care. Take care. Bye, sweetheart. Six weeks after her operation, Luna has made a remarkable recovery from that shocking leg wound. Her injury has healed so well, she's even back enjoying walks, with relieved owners Ben and Alice keeping a close watch on their precious little girl. Once the final bit was sewed up and, you know, she started to run around again and almost be unfazed by what had happened, we were surprised about that. Yeah. No fear, still wanting to chase the squirrels. And the birds. And the birds. <laughs> and the swans. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.